At the beginning of the year, we sat down with Panuku and we uh, formulated a, a design brief or studio brief. Panuku were really great to give us ideas on how to amend our brief, how to design it and so on. We then divided this course into three segments um, and design critique was the most important for the students um, because that's where they got a lot of good feedback. That feedback then um, was acted upon by the students and then they came up to with the results that you see here today. So the inspiration for our concepts came from a combination between the Panuku design brief, our studio brief and a lot of research that we've done ourselves. So we look at precedent studies at what works in different locations overseas and choose parts that we like to apply to our own designs. It's quite an interesting concept to work and design for someone like Panuku as it's a real world client, there's real world sort of ideologies and things in play in this sort of environment. So there's a lot of things to think about and a lot of things to sort of conceptualise around and just really thinking about how the design could actually affect the lives of people and the users in the space. This is the first project they'll do this semester and the idea for that is all of the schools with this sort of project in terms of design, con concept, understanding the urban environment um, will be integrated into a larger, more complex project. In the next two years, this, these students will learn how to you know, detail these designs, they'll learn how to cost them to a certain point um, and they'll get to a point where they can go out to industry and start to contribute to thinking um, and how to do this. Yeah, I've learned a huge amount from this process. I'm also quite interested in urban design aspects and urban planning. Um, so really this project has been a combination of all of those things and I've, yeah, I've really enjoyed it, late nights and all. <laughs>